For the first time in a decade, the DFL has control of the Minnesota House, Senate and Governor's Office. During a news conference at the Capitol Wednesday morning, DFL party leaders in the State House and Senate laid out several of their key initiatives. Those priorities include passing a law for people to make reproductive health care decisions without interference from politicians. Lawmakers also want to pass a voting rights bill that would institute automatic voter registration and restore voting rights to people on probation and parole. And DFLers want to implement a law that provides paid medical leave for people if someone in their family is sick. Too often we're seeing people take time out of the workforce or leave the workforce altogether. And you know we have a, a workforce shortage, a slight decrease in the labor uh, workforce participation rate over the pandemic. One of the ways we can get more workers back into the workforce is to make sure that everyone has paid family and medical leave. Republican leaders issued a joint statement calling the DFL initiatives controversial and divisive for rushing their priorities without bipartisan support. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.